Hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Console Log. This is the week of November 6th through November 13th, and I got some news for you. Have you ever used this technology called WebRTC? It's pretty cool. It's a way for two separate desktop computers or mobile computers to talk to each other without a central computer. Well, the big news this week is that WebRTC is now feature complete according to the W3C. Haha! <laughs> that means that they have gone through the entire specification process and have figured out that everything they need to know for this feature is now done. So what that means is that they're now saying to all browser vendors, hey, this is ready to be fully implemented please do it, which isn't to say that browser vendors haven't already been implementing WebRTC, but now there's actually a complete concrete recommendation from the W3C committee that says, hey, WebRTC is ready to have some fun with. If you haven't used WebRTC, I definitely recommend it. It's pretty damn powerful. Be able to make a lightweight and easy video chat between two people without any central server, that is just amazing. So with RTC, final, use it. Have you heard of this little company called Nintendo? They make video games. You might not have heard of them, but uh, they have a new console out called the Nintendo Switch, which I've been playing a whole lot more than I should have. But they have a eShop in the Nintendo Switch where you can actually buy games online. And there was an interview this past week with some of the engineers that worked on the eShop, and they talked about some of the technologies they use behind the eShop. And what I found was very cool is that they actually used React in their Nintendo eShop. I was not expecting to hear this. I knew it was a web browser. I didn't know what went on behind that. I assumed that it was some proprietary stuff. But no, actually, Nintendo is using a whole host of open source popular libraries that I've used in my day-to-day -day work as well. So if you do play with Nintendo Switch, you are interacting with all these things that you might be using in your daily uh, applications as well. So it was just kind of cool to see that. The interview is all in Japanese, but there is Google Translate that did a pretty good job with those translations. But I mean, just pretty cool that if you do play with the Nintendo Switch, you are using React, Redux, and all these fun things there. And here's a fun one for all of you uh, typography nerds out there, myself included. There is going to be a change in Chrome 64 that by default, all underlines are going to have a space around descenders. So what does that mean? Well, if you look at this image here, these words skipping, you can see that the P and the G are going beneath the underline and the line is going through them, which looks not the best, but everybody is used to it. However, in Chrome 64 now, that skipping, those P's and the G's now, break up the underline, making for a nice typography effect. So when you do upgrade to this Chrome 64 and you see this change, do not be alarmed. Be happy because this is a nice upgrade. And in the world of upgrades, my favorite editor, VS Code, had their October update of uh, 1.18, and they finally introduced their most number one feature request to the stable branch, which is multi-root workspaces. That means that if you have some organization on GitHub, let's say, and you have two repos in there, repo A, repo B, you can now add both of them into one VS Code workspace. There's a, there's a pretty cool, I don't know if I'm going to be using that often, but the fact that it's now there opens up more flexibility for your daily workflow. So if you are a VS Code user, do upgrade. There are a lot of other upgrades there. My favorite is actually having the git status in the file explorer. So you actually can see what files you modified, deleted, and added right there in your file explorer. VS Code upgrades. I love them. Okay, that was your week of links with the console log. Hopefully you learned some things that you didn't know already. I will be back here again next week to tell you about anything else that you may have missed. If you are not already a subscriber, please do subscribe below because I do live and breathe off of those subscriber counts. And hopefully you have a good rest of the week with your, all of your coding. So for now, I say sayonara and hopefully have a beautiful tomorrow.